On the 28th of September 2019, the metropolitan region of Rotterdam-Den Haag unveiled a brand new metro line extension to the public, with free rides for everyone. Except that it's actually not new, and it's not a metro line either. Welcome to the Hooks Line. The Hooks Line runs 24 kilometers from Schiedam Centrum Station on the west side of Rotterdam to the seaside town of Hoek van Holland, located in the very southwest corner of South Holland. Hoek van Holland literally means corner of Holland, so its location really shouldn't be a surprise. But what might be a surprise, though, is that it's also located in the city of Rotterdam. So the end of the Hooks Line, which is located in the municipality of Rotterdam, is not the one in Schiedam, 5 kilometers from the city center. It's the one in Hoek van Holland, 25 kilometers from the city center. Hoek van Holland has historically been important to the city of Rotterdam because since 1893 it has been the site of a major ferry terminal with service to England, Hoek van Holland Haven. Also in 1893, the railway linking the terminal to Rotterdam was opened by the Hollands Eisren Spoorwegmaatschappij, which would later become part of Nederlands Spoorwegen, the Dutch railway company we know today. In its heyday, Hoek van Holland Haven was a major hub for international travel, with direct trains operating to destinations as far away as Warsaw and Moscow. But in the subsequent years, the terminal's importance was undermined by developments such as the opening of the Channel Tunnel in 1994 and the growth of the low-cost airline industry. The last intercity train from Hoek van Holland Haven departed in 2007 towards Amsterdam, leaving only the local services serving communities along the line. In order to better serve those local communities, which now form most of the ridership, the metropolitan region decided to convert the line from a local railway operated by NS to a metro line operated by RET. The railway line closed on the 1st of April 2017 and work began on the conversion. To match the specification of Rotterdam metro trains, the line's stations, electrification and signaling systems were replaced or heavily modified. A brand new station, Steendijkpolder, was built in the west end of Maslaus. And five of the former level crossings were also eliminated, of which two were replaced by new bridges. Since its reopening on the 30th of September 2019, the Hooks Line is now part of RET Metro Line B, which travels in tunnels through the city centre of Rotterdam. But the Hooks Line still seems in many ways more like a local railway than a metro. Despite the upgrade project, there are still numerous level crossings, many of which are the only entrances to the stations. As a result, the line uses overhead power collection rather than the third rail system used on the central portions of the metro. Trains heading towards Hoek van Holland raise their pantographs at Schiedam Nuland station which is the first station of the extension. The line is also shared with freight trains, which serves some industries from the siding you can see on the right here, just west of Vlaarding and Oost station. At the stations where freight trains pass through, the eastbound track includes a separate pair of rails so the wider freight trains can pass by without hitting the platforms. And with a cruising speed of 100 km per hour, the Hooks Line is also faster than a typical metro line, though it's still slower than the trains which ran before the conversion. While it may not have the international importance it used to, Hook van Holland Haven continues to operate as an international ferry terminal, 
with Stanaline operating service to Harwich, England using the largest ferry boats in the world. The metro station is directly attached to the ferry terminal, making for a seamless transfer. The line is also being extended a kilometer further west to a new Hook van Holland Strand station for more convenient access to the popular beach west of town. The Hooks line is not the first time that the Rotterdam Metro has been extended well outside the urban area. In 2010, the metro network was connected to Den Haag using a former local railway line between the two cities. And it may not be the last railway to be converted for metro use either. The metropolitan region has expressed interest in using two of the four tracks on the Den Haag to Dordrecht line for metro service. But it remains to be seen if this proposal has any support with other organizations.